Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes on Thursday, the 6th of August. Uh, and apologies in advance, uh, quite a lot of stocks today. I couldn't narrow it down and uh, spent more time trying to narrow it down than it would have taken to uh, uh, record all the stocks. So uh, here we are. Uh, first stock is uh, Duke Royalty, where we've had a uh, high or low there versus uh, May, uh, just under the 20 pence level gap through the uh, falling wedge, which is uh, normally a good sign, and uh, the 20-day moving average at 22 and three quarters. If you're cautious on the stock, maybe wait for an end-of-day close through 25, which is the 50-day moving average. But uh, at least while we're above the 20-day uh, average and we hold that gap for, from, uh, to put for today, uh, we could hit the, the uh, March resistance line projection and the 200-day moving average area around 35 pence over the next uh, few weeks. Uh, next up, a stock which people seem to be jumping up and down about um, for various reasons. Uh, fast forward in innovation. I think uh, we looked at the stock uh, a little while back, maybe near seven or eight pence or whatever it is, something around that area. Uh, current situation looks like we're heading for 11, which was, I think, the previous call. Uh, but we could uh, stretch that a bit higher uh, up to maybe 13 and that uh, resistance line projection from July. Uh, if we get a decent close above uh, the 10 pence uh, level, uh, either today or as a weekly close. Stop loss, uh, I suppose, back below uh, the floor of the latest bull flag. So let's say eight and a half at the moment, maybe uh, down to eight and a quarter, if you can risk that much. Uh, I interviewed uh, Leon Kurtzer of uh, Jubilee Metals today, and um, uh, it was a good up update, obviously. Uh, shares uh, have gapped higher today. Uh, got a bit of resistance there. I suppose the main resistance on the chart post October is just below five pence. Uh, need to get a daily weekly close, uh, five pence, five pence plus. Uh, if we can get that, then looking at uh, that April resistance line projection as high as six and a half pence. Upside argument probably valid while at least while we hold above the uh, twenty day moving average around 4.35 pence and probably, I suppose, down to the four pence level. So above four, up to six and a half, uh, the wider call here on Jubilee Metals. Uh, Kefi is a uh, requested stock. I think I requested, I um, covered it a, uh, not too long ago as a request, but uh, can't get too much of a, a good thing, I suppose. Uh, same story as before. Uh, we've got this rising trend channel from February. That's currently heading towards uh, 2.6 pence. And at least while we're above uh, that old uh, July peak, uh, the initial July peak of 1.87 pence uh, on an end of day close basis, looks like we're heading towards 2.6 uh, for Kefi relatively easily over the next uh, two to four weeks. Uh, Kibo, I think it was another stock which has been um, uh, requested today, quite a few of them, hence uh, not being able to narrow down the universe. Uh, all about really breaking point three. I think that's the easiest thing to uh, do here. The stock's really hung around. Uh, extended consolidation, uh, sort of months of consolidation uh, between point two and two point three pence. Uh, hopefully this is the final uh, time uh, that we'll need to try and uh, break point three pence. We'll just clear it. But uh, point three pence on an end of day close or weekly close is probably the best momentum trigger at the moment. Uh, if you're cautious and want to like make sure that uh, the stock is on its way, wait for the 200-day uh, line at 0.35 to be broken. Uh, the big target here through 0.35, uh, the best case scenario, uh, would be uh, a target up to the September resistance line projection from last year, way up at 1.1 uh, pence. That obviously seems rather ambitious at the moment. But uh, if we do clear that 200-day line, uh, it could end the uh, downtrend in the stock and we might finally make it stop loss i suppose currently back below uh the uh, 50 day line at 0.22 pence stock which i don't think i've covered before but um again i couldn't really not look at it so that uh, is a signal of some kind um k3 business technologies gapped up through the 50 day line which is normally uh, the start of uh, a major move or a decent move or a, a lasting move and uh, if we can hold above the 50 day moving average and the falling wedge at 71 pence. The target here is the top of that broadening triangle at £1.13. Obviously, it's not a liquid stock, and obviously the spread is going to be probably going to be rather horrific, but uh, that is the technical call. Uh, next stock is uh, Overco Bio. Um, interesting thing here in the sense that we've had all the, uh, we've had the bear trap, we've had the uh, extended consolidation for months as well. 
Uh, main thing here probably is to wait for a weekly close above uh, neckline resistance on the daily chart at 15 pence. Uh, if we can get that done uh, this week, next week, uh, the target here would be a retest of uh, last year's peak uh, around this time last year at 30 pence plus. Uh, stop loss uh, ideally back below the 50 day moving average at uh, 11.9 pence. Uh, had to look at uh, the next stock, which is um, uh, Panther Metals. Uh, beautiful spike that we've had here over the last uh, few days. Uh, had a lot of upside already, but uh, 16 pence was the uh, initial target here. The last time I uh, looked at the stock, uh, that's where the uh, uh, saved uh, trend line is. But uh, I think we can probably now uh, upgrade that uh, target up towards uh, 20, 21 pence, uh, given how strong the stock is. Uh, probably uh, that target valid, at least while we're holding up above the uh, 10 to 11 pence area. So above 10 to 11, up to uh, 21 pence for Panther Metals. Uh, stock which has had uh, many, many false dawns is uh, Pathfinder Minerals. Uh, this may be yet another one of them, but uh, there was a bit of a flurry in the stock uh, yesterday. It's been sold off into so far, but uh, if we can hold above, uh, let's say, the uh, uh, the uh, 0.43 area, the 20-day moving average on an end-of-day close and a week close, uh, that would be great as that was former resistance uh, late last month. If that become, becomes new support, uh, then we could be on our way to upside. But I think here, at least, one would want to see um, uh, a weekly close above the 50-day uh, line at 0.48 uh, before uh, entering the fray, given uh, the rather flaky price action uh, the shares have had in recent months and indeed years. Tertiary Minerals is a, uh, a late request uh, um, for the uh, heroes today. Um, I think it's still all about really breaking the 200-day uh, moving average at 0.25 pence on a consistent basis. Uh, I suppose there is uh, an uptrend line there from uh, from March running at uh, 0.22, so we'd ideally like to see the shares remain above that. If you're a fan of the stock, uh, that would be your buy point. Um, otherwise, really looking to uh, break uh, that line of resistance and the 200-day uh, line uh, from 0.25 uh, upwards. Uh, if we can do that, then uh, there's maybe the hope of a return to the top of the range at 0.45, but uh, still a bit of work to do there for tertiary at the moment. Uh, TriStar has been a stock which has been uh, very volatile and uh, uh, rather difficult to get a handle on. I think uh, things seem to be uh, uh, have improved somewhat, but we're still waiting for an end of day and a week close above the uh, 30 pence level, uh, which is uh, not only the, the gap resistance, the top of that uh, gap down uh, in January, uh, but also that uh, former July peak. So uh, end of day close above 30, uh, 31 pence, and then we are uh, then we can at least uh, justifiably look at a top of December price channel target up to 60 pence. Uh, nice, nice crossover there between the 50 and 200 day moving averages uh, last month. So looks as though uh, the uh, bulls are finally on the front foot there. Uh, one of the uh, stocks which is uh, getting a lot of chit chat at the moment uh, for various reasons is uh, Trafalgar Property. Uh, still uh, sort of in this sort of range between uh, was at 0 0.17, 0 0.22. Uh, looking for a break now, really a 0.22 to give us uh, the uh, the bigger target here up to 0.35 at the top of that broadening triangle uh, from July last year. Uh, but it looks as though, uh, let's say, 0.15 uh, around the 50-day moving average area is pretty well um, baked in in terms of support. That was also support uh, after the gap as well. So Above 0.5, looking for 0.35 on a longer view. 200-day uh, moving average also rising now over the last week. So that should provide positive momentum for the shares. Uh, last uh, couple to look at in this uh, marathon session. Uh, Alien Metals is next. Uh, here we've got a situation where uh, upgrading really the, the technical target. Uh, top of the channel from November up to uh, 0.33. We're nearly there now. Uh, but if we can get to uh, have a weekly close or end of day close above 0.33, the next uh, uh, level up uh, could be as high as uh, the May 2019 resistance line at 0.5, which would obviously also retest uh, that uh, April peak from last year as well. So uh, looking, looking pretty set fair on uh, Alien Metals. Uh, stop loss there, either uh, last month's intraday peak 0.22 or just below 0.2, which is the uh, floor of the recent flag. 
Uh, good update and a, a good contract news today from uh, uh, Veritech. Uh, obviously, we had the rise there for the shares yesterday. Uh, to, the uh, exciting part in terms of the technicals is really the uh, way the stock is now hovering above uh, the previous uh, year high at 13.75. Uh, above that, um, uh, uh, sorry, at uh, 14 and a half. Above that, on an end of day close basis, uh, looking for further gains over the near term. Uh, initial target there around uh, 23, 24 pence at the top of the uh, April trend channel. Big, cha big uh, target or bigger target uh, up to around 27, which is uh, the 2019 resistance line projection. Upside very much in place while we hold above the 20 day line at uh, 12 uh, and a quarter, but uh, looking pretty strong. Uh, while that, uh, well, you know, the more uh, end of day closes or weekly closes above 14 and a half pence that we can get over the near term. That's it for me today. Apologies for so many stocks. See you tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.